I'd like to talk today about what is a radian and how the value for a radian as we know it today is actually in slight error. And this is all based on what we call the true value of pi, which I'm calling Jane pi, which is based on 3.144. So I've come up with another thing called Jane pi radian. So let's start off with the definition of what is a radian. And the radian is a very successful smart and intelligent system of mathematics because it's actually based, it goes beyond what we call a protractor. So we can see here there's a protractor, a circle, and the ancient people decided to divide the circle from 0 to 90 to 270 to 180. So there's 360 degrees in the protractor. But this is only an arbitrary man-made construct. Napoleon, when he won the war, he divided the quadrant from there to there, not into 90, but into 100 little hairy bits. So that the circle had 400 degrees in a sense, but this has 360. But I'm saying that there's actually a more intelligent, there is a better way that doesn't use degrees or units. So the ancient way, the ancient way was to say, here's the circle, we start off with the circle. full circle, and the, from the centre to the circumference, we know that that's called the radius, um, radius R. And what it does is we take whatever this length of the radius, we take this radius length, if it was like a string, and we place it along here, and it curves to this point here. So that means if the radius is R, this arc length is also R, but we're going to just call it S. And it, then we measure the angle. So we go back from the centre to the new point, where this is one unit, this is one unit, and it creates any angle we call theta. And the angle for the radian, traditional radian, is 57 degrees and a little bit more in minutes. So a minute is 60 minutes in a degree. So it's 57 and 17 minutes, and then we divide minutes into seconds, so that's 60 seconds in a minute. So this is a very precise angle when we take the radius onto the cur curvature, measure that angle. It's traditionally 57 degrees, 17 minutes, 45. But as a decimal, because we, we love expressing everything in terms of 10, it's called 57.29. And it does go on. But, so just remember that the definition for a radian traditionally is 57.29. And so I'm going to take this off here. But now we want to explore. I'm going to pull this away because we know what the definition is. And now we want to look at what would happen if we didn't use pi for as 3.141 because we believe that the harmonics of the circle are based on the golden mean, we now replace these numbers with the true value of pi, 3.144. So what happens is we end up with another radian. This is called the Jane Pi radian. It's 57 degrees, 14 minutes and 27 seconds. And we express seconds as like the two dashes there. And as a decimal, Jane Pi radian is 57.24. It goes on. So here we have two conflicting interpretation of what the radius to the arc length is. So I'm calling it 57.29 versus, or in contradiction to the true value, 57.24. If you study the last two bits, the 0.29 take away the 0.24, you'll see there's a difference or an error of 0.05. So the gap or the difference or the error between traditional radians and Jane Pi radian is 0.05. And what 0.05 means as a fraction, it's five parts per hundred. So as a fraction, we just go, it's five over a hundred. And you might think that that's insignificant. It's only such a small bit, but when we're looking at nanotechnology and satellites and microscopes, these slight errors of the circle all matter very much. So we, we know, so this is really critical because we know that pi is used in everything. When we, when we look at the area of a circle, we go pi r squared. And so here's the, um, a sphere. When we look at the sphere, we, we, the formula is four over three pi r cubed. So 
as engineers and mathematicians and technologists, we need to know that pi is as accurate as possible and we need to know how to measure the arc length, right? So that's why we need radians. So um, the radian was um, first discovered by um, Roger Coates in 1714 and he called it like rad. So he used the, for radian, he called it the rad and then he, so you might have something like 1.6 rad, right? But then they changed it to a symbol like 1.6 they put a baby C, like cents, 1.6 rad. So what it is, they took all this away and they just said it's 1.6. It has, it's a dimensionless ratio. Radians is so natural. It's a pure number that doesn't need any symbol. And it's a very smart way of um, going beyond degrees. It's being used by NASA today because it makes all calculations really, really easy. And it actually changes everything. If we agree to adopt Jane Pi radian is 57.24 and not 57.29. It's going to change all the most famous famous formulas we know. Most people know of um, Euler, a, a great German mathematician. And Euler's, like people say, what's the greatest mathematical formula ever? And there's one that uses five constants and it's called E, E to the I Pi plus one equals zero. E to the i pi, E is the logarithm of natural logarithm 2.718. I is the square root of minus one. Now pi, it could be 3.141, but we, we know it's 3.144. So the formula is going to change. So plus one equals zero. Sometimes they, they take this away and put E to the i pi equals minus one. So this is Euler's most famous, beautiful, um, equation that all mathematicians revere. It's something really special. Um, so that means even Euler's equation, identity, changes. And this, this is quite a huge change in the world of mathematical thought. Um, another thing, where did the radius, um, the word radian, I believe, came from radian. If we wrote, um, I'll just write it here, radian, radius, R-A-D-I, radius angle A-N-G-L-E if you just look at the capitals you've got R-A-D-I-A-N we believe that the word radian came from this thing called radius angle and just to complete I'd like to um, um, convert say any degree We let's say we're going to convert something like 108 degrees it could be any angle so just so you know that we're, we're no longer using degrees as a preferred choice, we're going to convert that to what we call radian or rad. But there'll be no symbol. So the, the secret is, is to multiply 108 times the true value of pi, which is 3.144. It goes on like 605511. Five, it goes on and on. And we're going to divide that, we have to divide that by 180. This is a formula which we can explain later. When you calculate 108 times 3.144 divided by 180, we've converted degrees to something called 1.886. And that goes on and on. But when we simplify it, and because 8 is greater than 5, it affects the 8 there. So we make that a, we make the 6 is greater than 5. So we make this 8 and 9. So the, for, the solution will be 1.89. We don't write, we don't even write rad or, or we don't even put any symbol there. So what that means is we take, so 108 degrees is no longer a degree. We started from here. We know that that's 90. So 108 is roughly about there. So as a radian, um, oh, sorry, it's just under two, 1.89. Um, if this is, um, this is one, this is two. So this distance, one to there. So that would be... 30 seconds. Yeah, that would be um, 1.89 radian. So this is such a highly and intelligent system of calculation that we're, we're offering this to all teachers and mathematicians to adopt the true value of pi radians because it's the precise frequency and it's the correct way to make maths beautiful.